So, you let which is uh, ex bestie or look alike, is that what we are going to call him or brother? I'm sure you know this guy has been vocal. He was formerly against um, Yule Doche and uh, Judy Austin. But all of a sudden, this guy turned around in support of Yule Doche and Judy Austin against me. There is nothing that this guy did not say. Eventually, he came out confessing. He said um, he actually wanted um, Yule Doche to help him expand or advertise his page he wants to be known i really do not understand what this guy does anyway but he said this is what he wanted and um, he thought um yule duche will help him and part of the rules yule duche gave to him then is that he needs to retract all that he said against him and judy so this guy as a wimp that he is as a coward that he is as, as a betrayer that he is as someone who is not steady steadfast someone who lacks integrity he quickly jumped on the boat of yule Duce and judy he issued a disclaimer and he spent about two to three months talking against mary saying what is wrong with you how dare you are you the only woman on earth forget about it why are you trying to take food off the table of yule Duce? what about your children why are you not thinking about them? There is nothing this dude did not say. Well, you know, um, you cannot fight against light. It's not possible. Darkness can never, ever overcome light. So, he kept on and on. His voice was not heard. The promises that uh, Yule Duce and Judy, in their kingdom of darkness, made to him, they never fulfilled it. In fact, it got to a point they blocked him. He tried his best to contact, to connect with them again. They refused responding to him. They did not promote his page. They did nothing for him. He got upset. He went in for a while and later he came out to confess. He said he wants to be forgiven, that this was not his intent. He said he does not know if he was under a spell. Whatever. The thing is this. This guy is out again. This time around, um, what he has to say is um, a huge big shocker. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, maybe this guy sort of operated like a spy or something. But you know, we we'll always give them the opportunity to express themselves. Even when Sarah Martins, um, when she did what she did and came out to say she's not a repentant uh, devil's advocate, we gave her the opportunity to express herself. We said, okay, it's all right. We, we understand. You can come um, to tell us what you say you want to say. And she did. She came out, she said a lot of things and it really helped us. Um, to further understand who and what we are dealing with. Well, now again, this dude is out again to talk. He wants to say a lot of things. But before, please, please like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Returning subscribers and those that have been here, I say a very big thank you to you. Um, you are highly welcome. And to those that have tapped on the thanks button, the one with the love icon and the dollar sign in the middle of it, may God replenish your pocket. If you also want to be a part of this, you want to bless this channel, you want to encourage us to do more, you can as well tap on the same button. Let us get right into this one. This is deep. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's property. Whenever you see yourself as a child of God, begin to covet your neighbor's wife or husband. Know that you are missing it. Know that you are crossing the line. And things like that have consequences attached to them. Like I always tell people, I'm not perfect. I'm working towards perfection. But that wouldn't stop me from saying the truth whenever necessary. You understand? I had thought that you would have come out to either um, debunk what Obasi said or to say whatever it is he has. But all we saw him doing is coming online to dance. To a great extent, that goes on to confirming that what Obasi said is the truth. You understand? And Judy came up the other day and was saying that she has spiritual powers that is guiding her and you. That there is power, that there are powers that are protecting them, that are ensuring that their union, you know, cannot be dismantled. That's go that's as well, that as well goes a long way to confirming that Judy Austin has caged you all. That she's using spiritual powers against that young man. So, my people, I think we need to intensify 
in our works to ensuring that the is rescued because it is, it has become glaringly clear that y'all is not doing whatever it is you are seeing him do currently with his clear eyes. I'm telling you the truth. Some of the things we watch in Nigerian movies are playing before our very eyes in the true y'all and many of us haven't yet decoded that. Sometimes we see patience or Zokwa in her movies using charm to, to, to tie people. And you see a man begin to behave like a child, begin to behave like Mumu. You think that only happens in movies? It is already happening to you all. Judy has caged you, Ledochie, and it is clear. So I want us to intensify on our works to ensuring that you all is rescued. Okay, I had wanted to bring Obasi on my life today. But Obasi said that his legal team has asked him not to appear, not to grant any interviews anymore. And that is why you are not seeing Obasi today. That's why I didn't bring him up today on my Facebook Live. I would have loved to bring him live, to ask him important questions, so I can help tear Judy's pant. It pains me so greatly that I wasn't on Uju's live last week Sunday. Because if I had come up on that live, there were there are questions I would have asked Obasi. And that would have gone a long way to exposing every secret that Judy has. And my greatest pain is seeing you all coming to dance for the media as if Judy is a virgin, as if what he's eating is different from what we are eating. Eh? Judy, you are falling in our hand. You are disappointing a lot of people. You are disappointing the brotherhood. Seriously. One thing I have come to discover about Judy Austin is that she feels she can do whatever, all right, and get away with it. And it's simply because a lot of folks have been very quiet about what is going on between herself and you. You understand? That's why she feels that she's very untouchable, that she can do whatever she wants and get away with it. With all the heat that is ongoing, she never, you know, felt any atom of fear. She unblocked me on WhatsApp and felt that she can reach out to me because she tried to become very familiar because that's her, that's her way. That's her because she's a serpent. Right, Judy Austin is a serpent. That's how we that serpentine spirit that controls her we want to always control everybody around her. But it was quite unfortunate that the spirit can't get hold of me anymore. Yeah, because I think at some point I was uh I I was a victim, all right, of of a satanic venom. All right. Yes, at, at some point I was a victim of a satanic venom, but not anymore. Not any longer. You understand? Yes, not any longer. She publicly said that there are spiritual powers that are guiding her affair with you. All right? Yes. She said it openly. So she's not scared anymore. She's not hiding it anymore. She's bold to tell the whole world that she's got spiritual powers. But I clearly told her, I told you, Justin, that whatever powers you think you have, for the mere fact that Obasi has come up to the media to cry, his tears will demystify your powers. The tears of Mr. Bass will water down those powers you think you have. All right. And y'all came to dance on the media. Y'all, fell at them again, honestly. He fell at them again. It has become so glaring that you don't even know who you are. Because I used to place you at a certain level. I used to see you as an Odogu. Even though people refer to you as Odiego. But I actually see you as an Odogu. But it has become very clear. That they matter on your able. Because Abo Nemo on your able. Yo, had it been you know who you are for real, you wouldn't let a person like Judy Austin to rubbish you, to rubbish the name of your family. The name which Sapete Dochier spent years, in fact, spent his entire life to build. This is the name you are rubbishing. It is very, very unfortunate. It is very, very regrettable that this is coming from you. Okay? But know that whatever you do to your fellow man, you're going to reap foods of it here in this world and even in the world to come you understand nobody does whatever and get away with it nature is going to judge you someday for a reaction because we had thought that you would come up with you know either debunking what obasi said or telling us your own part of the story you came and you were dancing as if nigerians are too small for you so please guys let's continue to pray for you all let's continue to intercede for him I want to at this at this juncture also call on his parents, Sir Spete Doche, please. Let's see how to help you all, Doche, because on our possible.
You'll nap as a quapo. You'll nap as a quapo. Many of you be looking at you thinking that you'll is still there. You'll are not as a You'll nap as a quapo. You'll nap as a quapo. If there is anything we can do to save that young man, I'm willing to contribute my own quota. Be it finance, be it resource, whatever it is that you guys need towards ensuring that y'all is rescued. I'll be very much willing to contribute, to donate my own quota. To see that he is being rescued from the mouth of that voracious beast called Jude Austin. Because up to now, I can't even understand how y'all of all people would want to kill his career because of Judy. Judy name where at this event. Do the name with any background? Do the name with any doesn't I don't I, I can't really understand. I don't understand. Why would you of four people, an international superstar, choose to mess himself up? Name when you all him I I say to you today that him are Because I'm name alone. If you name him and them, yeah. Because I was one of those who came from the very beginning and oh and told you, you all seen a media poor. Yes, in so you've pregnant, you've, you've gotten another woman pregnant. That's, that's okay. Stay away from the media. Stop bringing her. I, I told you this. You know, I'm, I now you have seen the result of your actions. When you hear it has happened, it has happened. That is the case of Yule Toche and Judy Austin. It has happened, it has happened. Uh, but uh, unfortunately for them, they are the ones to carry the cross. Of course, it comes with pain. Children will suffer. Now, you heard what this uh, dude said. He used to be a supporter of light. Not until he decided to become uh, something else, he became opposite. That is to show that within him as a person, he had darkness inside of him. That is the reason why he could be attracted so quickly. He wanted, he wasn't really rooting for truth. He just felt that there is a trend. Let me jump on it. Yes, he did jump on it at the beginning. People shared his video. His opinions were broadcasted. He, didn't, he, he felt he was not getting recognition. He was not getting that that he wanted, he now went to dine with the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness did what the kingdom of darkness are known to do. And now he's back telling us about Judy Austin, how Judy Austin said she has a lot of spiritual powers at her disposal, and how this, how that, how Mr. Bassi should have been asked this question, how Mr. Bassi should have exposed this and that, how Mr. Bassi should have acted this way and that. Man, well, we will continue to give you audience, um, just like how we gave you Leduce audience, Judy Austin audience, Sarah Martin's audience. We'll continue to give you audience. Pour out all that you have inside of you. Tell us everything. Um, most of the times, people don't know that we are using you guys as case study, as a case study. We are using you guys as a case study to understand the core of human beings, how they think, how they process their thoughts, why you should not just trust certain people because they are supporting you, they are rooting for you, why you should always be cautious of whatever it is that you do in life, consequences, karma, many things. I'm sure that for the past two years now, a lot of people have learned a lot on this platform. We are all both learning together. We've learned so much on this journey of divorce, demise of a 16-year-old boy, and many other funny things that happened along the line, serious things that happened along the line. We all have learned one thing or the other from it. So um, I don't know what your thoughts are as regards what this dude just said. He, he has poured out whatever it is that he has inside of him. Um, do you buy into what he's saying? Um, what do you think? Um, drop your comments about it, like and share. See you in the next update.